Hi guys, and welcome to my home slash studio. Uh, it's a little bit of echo right now, but I'll fix that shortly. And when I do, I will show you a little bit more what's going on here. Uh, but today I just want to show you guys the Ultimaker 3 app, how you can interact with Ultimaker 3. And um, let's get the video rolling. All right, so the first thing here is, uh, this is what the app says that is new. It's the Ultimaker 3 app. Um, and when you go in it, I got my phone here. We're starting out the app and it will start to look at the local area, uh, sorry, the Wi-Fi network and find a printer. So we're going to go ahead and here and click on this Ultimaker 3. Uh, we then want to connect to it. We can just verify by looking at it that it's ours. When we do that, we have to touch the uh, control panel on the machine just to uh, confirm access and allow that. Then we can click on start a new print and we get these objects, so from file, from you imagine, or load a G code. So I click here on you imagine, and my screen recorder actually started, stops recording, but I'm, I'm going to use the first model here. And all you have to do, and all it allows you to do, is just to download the SDL file. So uh, with that little bit of a bugger, we start off again. Uh, just going to load the uh, file here, since I downloaded it. So you can see it goes into my manager for the uh, there is my email address uh, for the uh, uh, the partner. So we load the STL file. So this is really, really quick. Uh, what's happening here is that um, it's loading into the model into the 3D viewer on the phone. I think it's a local uh, 3D viewer. It looks like it isn't using any data. So when I'm happy with the positioning, um, I didn't find any tools to rotate or do like stuff like that. We just click next and we come here and we can see what materials are loaded. From that, we can go next. And we'll have a few settings here to change, not much at all. We can change the quick settings. We can uh, select if we're going to use any support, type of support materials and of course the brim. Then you go ahead and slice and we will upload this file and slice it. And just look at this speed here, it's remarkable. Slicing, done, downloading my model. It's, it's really that quick, it was impressive. Now I don't know if there's, when there's more users it, it's going to be slow and stuff like that. Um, then we confirm that our print is uh, clear, and as you can see here, we don't have anything in the way. So we click Start Print, and it's sending to the printer. And um, then it just starts off like a normal print, so it homes, and goes up into the print mode, and uh, yeah, as you can still see the, the, the uh, data here on the, on the side. Um, then it heats up the build plan, uh, does all the normal stuff like a normal printing. So then during printing, this is actually what we see. We see an actual timestamp when it's estimated to be ready. I think that's a pretty neat feature. Uh, we also have, of course, the functionality to do a pause if we want to do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and pause. And confirm. Pausing, still pausing. <laughs> um, so, so this is a normal G-code pause, nothing fancy at all. Um, we can start off by resuming again. Yes, I want to show you the tools that you can do from the phone. And then it starts printing again. And again, uh, you have all the data there, what's going on, and, and uh, stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. And then when it's finished, uh, I haven't seen any notifications. So it just says here in the app that it's finished, and you have to go to the machine and confirm that you remove the model. Then you can print again. Now, Ultimaker also has a previous version of the app. Um, I haven't been using this uh, actually at all, but I think it's really neat. Um, you can download it here as well, or in the link in the description, of course, or just search it on your app store and stuff like that. So in here, we select what kind of machine we're using. We then get a lot of good data and tips and tricks, troubleshooting, uh, a few stories about that, if you're into that. So I think this is a really good, like, handy pockets manual. Uh, this is just if you want to register in your machine, but you can uh, read on the uh, manual, for example, or uh, quick tips. So we see the different steps on when you're getting your, your first machine or when you're just going through the different settings here. So this is a really good step on when you actually buy the machine, maybe you don't have a computer that you can sit down and email with your support um, correspondence. So you can just get in here read the stories and, and get some good tips and tricks. Maybe on your way back home from work uh, on your public transportation, for example, you can read about the warranty if you want to do that, but you can also just read about that, like what is pillowing and what is warping and how do I fix it. 
So I think that's pretty neat. It's a good archive of data and uh, I'm looking forward to see more integration between the previous Ultimaker app and the new Ultimaker 3 app. I'm sure that's that's coming along. And maybe even like online slicing from your Uimagine account to your uh, printer so you don't have to download a file and stuff like that. But I'm sure that's coming. It's This is just the first First of many, I hope, apps. I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody. I don't get any information from Multimaker. So. But uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can check out my ult full Ultimaker review if you want to do that. It should be like on maybe this side over there or something. I'm not quite sure. And of course, if you want to subscribe for more cool content about 3D printing, tech, and design, um, I would be very happy. So uh, see you in the next video. Bye.